Hello, in this video we show you how to add a contact to your Google Nexus 5. Now there are various ways in which to add a contact to your Google Nexus 5 but we're going to show you the primary way which is saving a contact to the Google account that you have linked to your device. So whilst there are quite a few ways in which to actually do it from your mobile device depending upon your personal configuration, the primary ways that we would add a contact are as follows. Now assuming you've got your Google account linked up to this device, you could add a contact via a web-based uh, application, the Google Contacts app, and that would sync with this device, uh, assuming it's got that account linked and it's connected to the internet itself. But the other way is you may uh, be given a telephone number and you go into the phone via a shortcut on your home screen or the apps tray and you dial the number or enter the number that you've been given. And you've then got a couple of options from this screen. Of course you could dial it, but you can see you've got the add to contacts option at the top there. We've also got the menu button down here that allows us to add to contacts, and both do exactly the same job. But if I was to press this add to contacts at the top here, it brings me up with this list. And it gives me the option to add that number that I've entered to an existing contact. But we're not going to be doing it in this case. We're going to be actually creating a new contact. So we're going to be pressing the create new contact below. Now it's imported that telephone number that I've entered. And now I can give this a name. So I'm just giving it a dummy name there. Now I could go out and fill additional information or even add additional fields, but when I'm happy I can click done. And the contact has now been saved. The other way to do it is to go through to your people hub. Now that might be in your applications tray. Click people and you'll likely be presented with a list like this. And it's here that you can press this icon down at the bottom here, which is the little head with the plus icon. And much like the screen we saw just a couple of moments ago, we now have all the fields that we can fill out. The difference being none of the data has been automatically updated because that information isn't available. We haven't given it a telephone number to actually save. So it's completely blank and we can fill out the information as we choose. And once we're happy, we click done. The other way we might add a contact is through a call that we've made or received and we then subsequently want to save that information to our contacts database. So the easiest way to go about that is to go into our phone icon and go through to our call history which will look something like this and in here you'll have your history of calls and this is the all screen so all calls made inbound and outbound. And down at the bottom here, I've got uh, a telephone number 00115555. And you can see that it's not saved to the contact database because I haven't got a name beside it. So I've got two options here, both of which do the same thing. I can press on that number and I get this screen come up with details about the call. And I also get that familiar head with a plus icon, which is the add to contacts option. Or I can press on the icon here and I get a smaller window pop up but again I get that little plus icon so I can press on that again it's given me the option to add that contact number to an existing contact or I can go through the process of creating a new contact again and it's given me the relevant information that it already has it's imported it into the appropriate field and then I can fill out this accordingly and simply click done and then that is the contact then saved to the phone yet again and this will obviously synchronize with the accounts that we have linked to the device and be backed up online. You can of course save contacts to SIM cards and things if you want, but it's preferable to save it to your Google account. And so that's a demonstration of how to add a Google contact to your Google Nexus 5.